Roy Lichtenstein's brushstrokes is one of the museum's signature outdoor pieces. This sculpture is a gift from Prudence M. Miller and her family, and it was installed here in 2005 to mark the opening of the museum's Jubit Center for Modern and Contemporary Art. Over the past 15 years, it has truly become a welcoming beacon for our visitors. Lichtenstein is a key artist in the pop art movement of the 1960s. Pop artists brought elements of popular culture into the highbrow art of painting and sculpture. Lichtenstein became famous for reproducing excerpts from comic books using bold outlines and the telltale printer's bende dots. He first used the brushstroke as a subject in paintings from the 1960s, lifted from, you guessed it, a comic book story. The brushstroke is loaded with meaning for him. Particularly, it's suggestive of the freedom and immediacy of the artist's gesture. Think about the action painting of abstract expressionists like Jackson Pollock and Willem de Kooning, who dripped, splashed, pushed, and poured paint onto their canvases. Lichtenstein parodied this unique form of expression by mechanically recreating it in his paintings. Brushstrokes became one of his favorite subjects that he explored over and over again. Late in his career, Lichtenstein took this motif to the next level, making large-scale brushstroke sculptures meant to be placed outdoors. His brushstroke sculptures used graphic lines and bold colors to depict the swoosh and sploosh of paint. Ours at the museum is a wonderful stacked ladder of strokes in green, blue, yellow, black, and white. In 2018, we received a grant from the Bank of America Art Conservation Project that allowed us to free the sculpture's footings from the cement plinth and refresh the faded paint. The project was led by conservator Samantha Springer. Samantha's documentation and commentary on this project can be found on a podcast and through the Sam at Pam video series available on our website and YouTube channel. Lichtenstein once said, All my art is in some way about other art, even if the other art is cartoons. His sense of humor and his playful wit have given us many approachable monuments to art, artists, and creative expression.